fundamental problem we have on stage is once you've claimed the front part of the stage, the downstage area, and you need to go up, how do you get there? Many actors make the mistake of forgetting their weight shift, crossing over, and then just turning around. Now this does not present an expressive part of the instrument, and you end up with your back to the audience. So in stagecraft, there are a number of clever ways to avoid that. The first one is, first of all, lean away. This is called the inside pivot. Free this leg up. I'm going upstage, however, so I have to throw it back here. And it's a very elegant move again, but it keeps me open. Notice that my body is going upstage, but the expressive part of my body, torso and face, are still looking at the audience. And it only takes me a minute to get turned around here. Odd step, three, tuck, and here I am. I'm upstage. I've reclaimed it. I'm going to reverse the chair now so that we all can work together. The audience is now down here, and you're all standing behind me. We're going to play both of our inside pivots from 6 o'clock. Back to 6 o'clock. I've got to talk to this character. I lean to the left, free up this leg. I direct it back, and I come quickly up and around. And the companion, you want to go the other way? Leg comes up. I can still look down here. Step up and around. And again, you can take, I'm only taking three steps because I have longer legs, but you can take as many as five or seven steps, depending on the size of your space. I'm at seven o'clock, and I need to speak with Elisa, who is in the center of the clock. How do I get there? Bad, bad decision. Very bad decision, because back is to the camera. Also, I have blocked my acting partner. Seven o'clock, how do I get to Elisa? Again, we're going to use the inside pivot. Lean away, free this leg up, throw this leg up stage. I can still talk to the audience if I need to. And basically, I slowly bring my attention to her. I come in and I curve around, and I'm right here. And we have this perfect communication. And the sight lines, sight lines meaning can the audience see everything that's happening. Sitting in this seat, on the extreme left-hand part of the house, and sitting in the last seat over here, in the extreme right-hand side of the house. Can they see everything? Yes, they can see both of us. And compare that to this. This side of the house is blocked from this performance. This side sees a bit. Downstage again. Need to get upstage. The character I need to speak with is directly behind me. How do I get there? Simple. Throw your weight away and do what's called the roundhouse. One, two, three, four, five, plant and tuck. And yes, this doesn't always work out even numbers, just as long as the upstage leg finishes. And I'm here to talk to this character. Let's try a roundhouse clockwise. That away, I'm at six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I lean away, free up this leg. Here I go and come around quickly. Come around quickly and you come in on this character and you can sit here and talk. I'm going to reverse the chair now so that we all can work together. The audience is now down here, and you're all standing behind me. Good. Let's work on our roundhouse. Let's go to 6 o'clock, the most difficult place on stage. I've got to get up to talk to the character in the chair. I'm going to do counterclockwise. Lean away and just walk around your clock. Walk around and then come in on the shoulder of this character. Clockwise roundhouse. Lean away. We're going to go that way. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it doesn't have to be a wide. You don't have to give it a wide berth. You're trying to get around as quickly as you can. The roundhouse, I fall back, free up, and come around. A little more dramatic, but can be used in both contemporary and period. But particularly effective if you have a lot of costume to deal with because basically this frees the costume. We get to see the back of the dress, and you come around and you talk. Once I get here, I have this scope here to come around and talk to her over here. Again, perfect sight lines. A really, really nice move to help sight lines is called the S-walk. 
It's when you're in a very tight situation and you have other characters behind you and you've been in a focal point for a second and you need to then move back to the group. How do I get there? Uh, we've already talked about the inside pivot, which is I go to another character like this on a curved walk and I come in on her shoulder and talk to her. Sometimes if I'm a little bit further down stage and a little bit, she's more extremely behind me. And she is not in focus here, so I'm not upstaging her. But again, I need to then bring her into focus. I'll do something called the S-walk, which is basically I step off in this direction, but then I immediately spin around and then turn back in up here. And it's a great little move to solve this problem, which is basically how do I talk to her and how do I open her up to the audience. So basically, here it is in slow motion. Again, as always, if you're going in that direction, the weight shifts the opposite way, this leg is free, I spin around and I immediately do a second curve. There's your S finished and here I am and guess what? That simple little move has opened up the whole area and everyone now standing in this area on the stage are now visible to the audience. Simply because I have moved from my star monologue position to back to ensemble work. The S walk. Thank you.